Hello, it's Sarah and Kiwi. Oh, anyway, she's on my shoulder. Look at these little projects. I gotta get them in this. So this is a little lampshade for a tea light. And I have to get my tea light. I have electronic ones. <clears throat> I went today <clears throat> and I got the exact size. These were at the dollar store. I actually bought a much bigger one last time and they let me swap it in and I got two of these because I'm going to make a couple of these. I'm going to do a tutorial on this one because he's super basic. Uh, you know, it's a snowman. I thought everybody likes snowmen. Um, it's not Christmassy. It's not, you know, it's winter. And this is actually on watercolor paper. I have a template that Joe made me a PDF for. And um, so I am going to do a tutorial for this little project. But that being said, you don't have to do it and make a lampshade out of it. Um, you can just do, you know, whatever. But I just think it's so cute and um, I'll, I'll get a tea light for that. And then this is another of the same. This pattern is from, oh, excuse me. I just burped. This is a Plum Purdy pattern pack and this happens to be winter melody ornaments number 114 I love Renee Mullen's work I, I think her images are super cute you know like I'm very attracted to her artwork so I tend to buy a lot of her um, holiday projects this has four ornaments and they're actually little wind chimes and I think on her website you can also order the exact thing like you can get the wood pieces and the wind chime and everything but what I ended up doing for this one is cutting it out of magnet now this is a magnet that will stick on my refrigerator <clears throat> I use this and you get these I believe I got this at Home Depot but I'm not positive Home Depot or you know any home fix it type store Frost King um, this is vent covers for wall, floor, or ceiling metal vents. And this says it fits the register up to 8 by 15. So it's a big, long piece of magnetic. Uh, see here? It's got the black side and a white side. And it's very flexible. It's like those um, type of magnets that you get f that people make their calling cards out of and stuff. So the, that was the other option that I chose to use. i to put that over there. Um, and then here's, um, what it looks like. So it's this, I already cut it into pieces. And then you basically, I just used my Tim Holtz, uh, I don't know what, I'll, I'll sand this. I think it got, um, ridges when I was, I just sealed it with all purpose sealer, the Joe Sonia all purpose sealer. This is the one I like, but I think there's other brands. It doesn't matter. All purpose sealer. It's for surf for surface prep. And because this has like a, when I do, I'll do this tutorial separately. I'm going to do the snowman today. But like the, it's kind of like a shiny, the paint doesn't really, like I painted this part and you can kind of scratch it off. So I just wanted to prep the surface first. So I just um, put all purpose sealer on and then you would just trace the pattern, which is here inside the pattern packet you have the four different designs. So there's two snowmen, two, this is the little birds that I did on here, the little cardinals. And there are, there is a one snowman, I did that. That's the one I'm doing on the lampshade. And then there's a cat, I'm gonna do the cat. Cause I have a couple of cat fans in my family. I'm gonna do, and I'll make them for them for Christmas. It's just a magnet for their fridge, so. You can put this on any surface, that's my point. I just kind of wanted to use what I had and I've had this magnetic stuff forever and I never used it, so I finally did. Um, also, I'm out of, but this is the, the for this guy, it's a, it's a thin or, it's not as uh, thick of a, I don't know what you call it, but this, this is what I'm talking about. So this is just Canson watercolor paper. Um, it's 90 pounds, it says. 
and on the reason I chose that is because I think it's like the thinnest like I have other watercolor paper I'm gonna just grab some to show you this is Canson here's another 90 I'm gonna grab this so this is and I looked for this at Michael's today and I did not find it I don't even have any more of this but it's I used I used this for ATC's but this says 90 pound this says 140 pound so I mean use what you have but the thing is I think because we're going to be rolling this and gluing it if you're not going to if you just want to paint it on watercolor paper and then see this is much thicker I don't even know if this would bend so that's the thing you want to use a very low weight I guess it would be considered of um, uh, watercolor paper so I did find this one so this it's available and this is by Canson but I I, I want to go to Hobby Lobby and Michaels this was my first I went shopping today and um, just because I wanted to get brushes so I'm going to show you these two let me put all this aside I don't I can't have too much clutter on my desk or I start to give me anxiety I don't want to do it I got to get I want to clear all this up so this is actually empty but I had this and I was able to take the template. Now let me back up. I won't show you the brushes yet. This template I got from the Dollar Tree years ago. I don't even remember when. It came like this. I don't know what department it was in. Probably maybe the craft department. I don't know. But it says wine glass shades used with tea lights and a wine glass. It's for party decorations, table setting, centerpiece, night lights. So maybe in that department I didn't look today I really just rushed in to get the um, the wine glass itself I just wanted to I had other errands to run it's busy out there it's Sunday and yeah people Christmas shopping is happening um, so anyway I have this other one but I basically I just popped it out the one it came as a two it was a twofer I popped this one out <clears throat> And I could fit a cup. I could fit three on one the one sheet of paper. So this is what I used because I had one sheet left. So basically, this is the magnet. I'll do a different tutorial for that. I just took, and I think you can just fit one on an eight by ten piece of paper. So I first I just traced this onto a regular piece of printer paper. Actually, I just traced this because it's a. I traced this onto my um, watercolor paper, and then I just cut it out. But I want to tell you, Joe made me a PDF of the tracing. So this is it. Let me see. This one might be too small. Yeah, we did a couple. But if um, so, you can go to the PDF. I'll put a link in the description and print this out. And it just you're going to get a printout like this. You can either trace it onto your watercolor paper or you can cut it out and use it as a template. Um, you can make it out of cardboard and then it will never, you know, you'll always have it. But I would go a tiny bit bigger. Like, I don't know. I think just to play it safe. Actually, you don't have to because this wine glass, it was because the other wine glass I bought, it didn't fit. But this wine glass, it fits perfect. Because if you picture it, you put a tea light down the bottom. I don't know how much twinkle you're really going to get out of it. But um, I think you're supposed to use like a, uh, an electronic tea light. I'm trying to look around and see if I have one in here that's like, that I could just take out of. Uh, no, I don't have one at the ready. Anyway, I digress because... This is the best I could do as far as the pattern goes because I don't know how else to to get you the pattern other than using what I had and making the best of it. So, um, I mean, I could put measurements on here. That might help. But it's already on a PDF. You want this to be, it's five inches here. So this is five inches. So as long as this to this is five inches, your printout is going to be good. And then from here to here, I'll measure it. I would say that's six and a quarter, almost. It's approximately six and a quarter. 
and then from there to there I can't even it's a it's over 12 inches it's going to be maybe thir almost 13 inches from corner to corner so I mean like I said just use what you have if you have a little piece of wood but I just thought this was the cutest thing and I'm I'm just I think the other thing about it is if you wanted to ship this to someone for Christmas you just get a little shipping envelope you could ship it it's super cheap and you could have a gift to give someone um, you know and then they could cut it out and use it I mean whatever I just wanted to do it on this little uh, lampshade so um, that is that put that aside um, all right so what I want to let you know is also this can be done with any stamp that you have in your stash I actually after I traced it onto the watercolor paper I used a permanent ink pen this is um, my Micron Pigma 05 and I drew around the whole thing so if you stamp out a stamp with watercolor I'm sorry uh, waterproof ink so you want to use your archival or your stays on let it dry like let it set maybe do it before bed and then when you come back in the morning it'll be fine you can use anything you have in your stash you can use a stamp you can use um, so I just happen to be using patterns that are painting pattern packets and um, because that's what I have but but this is just an idea that you can use uh, what you have in your stash all right so I am going to continue now with the brushes I wanted to talk about that real quick Renee always has on her pattern packets the palette she uses so she uses Americana paints um, again use what you have I tend to look at the color like Canyon Orange I think I actually bought some Canyon Orange today but I actually used um, spiced pumpkin let's see the difference I mean does that really matter that you're using the exact color you know it doesn't so I love that they give you a palette to work from because that I don't have to think then because I know just like you know but look his nose looks perfectly carroty you know I use what I have as close as I can I know my purple wasn't the right purple um, well, not the right purple I mean the same purple as she used um, and that's basically it like white is white right I mean you can have off-white I think one of the ones was um, sand and I went and looked let's see sand yeah there's a, a paint color called sand and when I went and that's why I want to go to um, and it's called desert sand so I didn't even find a color called sand it was called desert sand and I don't know if that's the actual color she used but I think I used camel or no because camel is another color I think I used antique white ready so I did not need to buy this I should return it because look how close antique white is to desert sand I mean it's crazy and it's just a background color so don't drive yourself crazy thinking you have to have the exact colors um, please use what you have um, so yeah my bad now I have I, <laughs> I I did not know that it was that close like that is so close it's a tiny bit off and the only thing I used it for was to undercoat the snowman so you can see there's like a tan underneath and then you stipple over on top of him with white so it's just crazy and then this um, the treat the birdhouse I'm sorry the birdhouse is done with camel but why couldn't I have used this it, I mean why do you, I need 15 million and I don't want to upset Renee Renee you do you girl but I'm just saying like I because I love her her patterns and everything but the thing is I had orange like why do I need to go get a different orange right so just because it's not so that's why I'm not going to give you the um, like if you wanted to purchase this pattern that's on you I'm going to put that in the description box but when I'm doing it with you just use what, what you have in your stash like this is crazy I think I should return this desert sand and I should return this too 
Canyon Orange, and I should get, I mean, I can't, that is nice, but I have other oranges. Like, I have so much paint. Burnt Orange, that's way different. I have so much paint. Like, it's just crazy. So why do I do this to myself? That's why I don't go shopping, because I have enough stuff. Like, I'd rather trade it in and get, like, black, white, like, the ones that I use up all the time. Like, my very common colors. So, um, anywho. That is that about the paint. Now, the other thing I wanted to share is the brushes. So, I have tons of brushes because I've painted for years and years. So, I have all these brushes some are old and some are new and some are beat up and some are in better shape. Um, and I tended to take care of them a lot better before I started doing mixed media because mixed media is a lot more rough on your brushes. So I bought these two packs today just to share with you guys. And I'm, I think, sorry Kiwi, I think I'm going to use one of these packs to do this project. I'm going to only use one of these packs so that I can show you that you can just go get. And I think this was like around eight bucks. Doesn't have it on there. Uh, my receipt is in, oops, sorry, Kiwi, in the kitchen. I think they're anywhere from around eight to ten dollars. And they have a, a nice variety of sizes and shapes. I like this one. Actually, I like this one. I'm going to open this one first. Because when I paint, the type of painting that I do, you use, uh, you do base coating first and then you add your highlighting and shading uh, afterwards. So it's a process and I like to base coat. So I'm going to bring in my... Um, so the first thing we're going to do on this is just put color down all over the place. We're going to base coat, and then we're going to add the details and the highlights and shading after. So I base coat with a flat brush, I really, or a number three round. So this, this one, and actually this is an angle, so I'll do my floating with this. That's why I wanted to get this. This is a, a 3 8 inch angle, which is going to be perfect. It comes with a number 10 flat and a number 4 flat which is going to be perfect for base coating. This is a number one. So for details, for the little um, holly, um, that's going to be great. It also came with a fan brush. I won't be using that. This nice big angle brush. Um, so for a bigger project or for, you, for mixed media, this is a great brush, but I won't be using it for this project. This should be a number three round, yeah. This is a number three round. I do some base coating, so I'll probably base coat my bird with that, um, the carrot. I like to use a number three round a lot. Those are my go-tos, like a number three round and a number between a four and 10. So like a six or eight flat would be the perfect size of a flat to use for base coating. And then this 3 8 inch angle is perfect because this is the brush that I literally use to paint um, these two projects. And it is right here. No, it is not. This is the one that I just got that um, Tracy Moreau. It's a faux squirrel. I've been using that. But see, I like to experiment with brushes to see what works best for me. But I am going to find it. Here it is. Nope, that's not it. But see, this is a 3 8 inch angle in Artist Loft. So that is a go-to size for me. I like that size of floating brush, but this is my real favorite, favorite, favorite. I'm pretty sure this is a 5 inch, 5 8 inch, and this is so old, and I still go to it. It's my go-to. I just love it because it holds a lot of water. I just love it. This is my favorite floating brush. Anywho... I feel like if you get, now this is the Craft Smart brushes, brown Taclon. I wonder if it has um, a, like maybe I'll give you this specific number, 133622 or something. And on the back, it shows you what it comes with, I guess. Yeah, it does. 
So these, I think I'm going to work with these. I think I'll be able to complete this whole project with these and have done a nice job. You're going to need a, um, a micron pen or any um, waterproof ink pen that you have in your stash. Um, some watercolor paper. Or, I mean, you can use Bristol. You can use anything if you just want to paint along with me. But this is going to bend around your um, wine glass. And then you're just going to need a dollar store wine glass. And it's I'm going to measure the top of this because... Um, that might help you decide which one to get. This is two and a quarter across the top. And you, and then tea lights, you will have a cute little kind of holiday, you know, winter themed. Um, I want to see how many. This was only a seven piece. And this is a ten piece, which I'm not going to open it. But I do like these for base coating because I can beat these up. And they're not a big deal. Like, I can just beat them up. I don't have to. Um, so I'm going to not open it because I, I could return it. But I feel like this one is going to be all you need. This seven-piece Craft Smart. It's in the aisle with the paint. It's not with the brushes. It's not in the art department. It's more in the craft paint department, like where you would get your um, Americana paint. All right. So I'm going to go away, and I'm going to get ready to paint. So I'm going to... Um, upload this as a part one for you to get your supplies together and then I will go ahead and show you um, how to prep and start moving ahead with painting all right you guys that's it thanks for watching I can't find the button <laughs>